Today on IODP Expedition 318, Wilkie's Land. Exploring the history of Antarctica. Another sushi. <laughs> For some diet, I missed microbiome is perfect. Good enough. Sometimes I forget I'm in Antarctica during measurement, measurement, measurement. I forget I'm on the sea, so it's better to go outside and to remind myself to I'm in Antarctica. First two weeks, it's a bit uh, confused to me because the language is totally different from our language. We had a lot of explanation how to use these equipment and it's getting better. It helped me a lot. The job. My job on the ship is to determine the age of the core, to know determining the magnetic field of the Earth. Paleomagnetism is the study of magnetic properties of rocks. The sequence of reversals is recorded in rocks and sediments and can be read like a barcode. Resistance is futile. We determine the ages based on this record of geomagnetic field reversal. We are also checking with the paleontologists to make sure our correlation is uh, consistent with their age estimates. To have a reliable chronology, cooperation of the paleontologists with the paleomagnetists is very helpful. The science. Usually I have just core without going to any vessel. Just I have core, okay, I measure it. And yeah, it's also interesting, but here we can determine what the age is, it's glacial or interglacial. We can talk with a lot of specialists. All of the team is getting together and to work with one problem. It's really amazing thing. It's a little bit less disturbed. Yeah. Maybe here? Yeah. Very good, all yours. Oh much yes. different. It's uh, much faster and it's so exciting for me. Today on Penguin TV, ice, ice, baby. ocean drilling for kids. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Captain. How did you become a Captain, Captain Terry? Oh, it's a long story. It takes a lot, of, a lot of time in uh, Maritime College, a lot of time working. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We like school. School is good, school is good, school is good. <laughs> and, and? Well, you have to uh, become a third mate first, work your way up there, and then go for more licenses, more training, and hopefully, eventually, the opportunity opens up that you can be a captain. What does a captain do on the ship? Well, he's in charge of everything and uh, the mates all work for the captain and his main concern is SOLAS, that's uh, safety of life at sea. Yeah. We like so, being we safe. We like safe. <laughs> we're about 280 miles from your home right now, so. Ooh, we like warm. It's cold and yeah. Like yeah. Ice. yeah. Look, where is home? Can you show us? Yeah, here's the, here's the ship right here, out right in the deeper water, and if you look down below here, you'll see uh, the range and bearing to our next drill site. Hopefully there's no icebergs. And oh, we, we want icebergs! That, we like ice! Most of the icebergs are in closer to the continent. Where? 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 Oh, that's hot! What, what do you have to do on here? What do you do on this ship? This particular oh. drill ship drills, drills for core samples, yes, and it, it works. We have a, a large, high, direct 
in the center of the ship. Can we go and, there? Yes, you should go there and talk to Sam. Sam, Sam tell, I like Sam. He's, he's, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Okay, we're gonna go see the ring floor and Sam next week. Yeah. Yeah. The mission. Before coming here, I worked on Antarctic Sea Sediment Core, and I was really interested in how the ice, ice was retreating during glacial and interglacial for the most recent one million years, or something really close to our age. For that, we need really specific age model. For the reliability of global climate models, depends on the accuracy of past climate datasets. Using these records to reconstruct parallel environments in detail, an accurate and precise chronology is required. I'm really interested in how to determine the age of the sediment. It's really important key for scientists who are working with the old material. The team. I basically work with Lisa, the other paleomagnetist. It's so nice and amazing. It helped me a lot. Don't be rushed for taking well, samples. If you're distinct, mm -hmm. then you have a, what's called triaxial. It's completely new for me to how to measure the samples in here and how to interpret the data. I don't have a, not enough knowledge for how to make sure the data is, but Lisa knows a lot and she's so helpful and so kindly help me how to do it and it's getting easy to talk. For me, first one week was hard time for me to talk with Kochi because I was really timid to talk with Hank and Carlotta. But uh, I noticed that they are really open-minded and really helpful. Let's hope you have a reversal. Yeah, I right think. here. Today on Gone in 30 Seconds with Stephen Picard. Very good. It's almost like nothing we've ever tried to get. Sedimentary cores from off the Antarctic coastline during the greenhouse world. So few cores have been recovered during this time off the coastline of Antarctica that indeed recovering them would be like getting Antarctic's holy grail. And now we have recovered and we have on the deck these sedimentary cores. Beam them up, Scotty. And so now the scientific officers of the JR can begin to decipher the secrets that these cores possess and therefore begin to understand our future.